Today on the weekly What Is It, I thought we would look at this little board. HX3S01. And this little board is used for battery management. This one in particular is for lithium ion, three series cells, hence the 3S in the name. Three cells in series. So if you're wondering why we're going to take a look at this little BMS board. Well, on this channel, we do a good bit with lithium ion batteries. We've done several videos in the past where the pack repair, equalizing, or I've even mentioned before about using these to power different things. The only thing to be careful for with lithium ion, if, if you keep your eye on them, it's okay to use them individually, like use an individual battery holder or use three in series for a 12 volt um, application. But these cells by themselves don't have any protection, um, any protection from over voltage, over current, over discharge. So we can incorporate what's known as a, a battery charging protection board or BMS module, battery management system. And this one in particular, it came from Amazon. I think they sell, you can probably get them from eBay or Amazon, but they serve. Sometimes you can get, for like $15, you can get a pack of three. But they're supposed to be good for up to 10 to 13 amps, depending on which one you buy. And they say they're made for, of course, 3S, 3 in series. Lithium ion, which is typically, they can be anywhere from, you know, 3.7 to 4.2 volt cells and still be lithium. These are right around 4 volts recommended. I think you can go up to 4.2 volts on the charger. And this BMS said this rated for 11.1 to 12.6. And does claim it has protection from over discharge, overcharge, overcurrent, and short circuit. And it also claims that it auto recovers from the protection. So some boards don't claim that. And I, I read before I ordered some that they claim that you have to reset it, disconnect, hook it back. So in some applications, you don't want a board that you have to reset. So it's supposed to auto recover. I just figured we'd, we'd give it a shot. We'll take three of them, uh, three of these cells. It's in good shape and actually put them in a, at least for this video purpose, I'm gonna put them in a, in a battery holder. I don't recommend using this for a battery holder in applications because these holders are really just for a demonstration purpose for me yet. You can tell they're very cheap. They won't hold a lot of current. The wiring's very small. Since these are rated for 10 amps, typically what you would do if you put your three in a pack configuration and you actually solder your tabs across and insulate them well, you can tell that this is designed to actually be able to go across with some maybe heat shrink or insulation. And you can actually make a neat little 12 volt pack that has all the uh, BMS circuitry and protection on board. Just for demonstration purposes, I already got these three just uh, double face taped together. I already got a minus going to the plus and branching off. I also got the main minus, which will be the 12 volts negative terminal coming off. I have the positive 12 volts coming off. And on the second cell between the plus and the minus, I'm also coming off. And that's how we're going to wire this up. We're going to come off a of B plus and go to B plus. We're going to come off the B minus and of course go to B minus. We're going to take this, that tab, you can barely see it, it says B1. B1 is going to be where they monitor the cells in between this first cell. Counting from negative, the next one will be one. And then the next cell will be two. It'll go here. And like I said, B plus will go there. And it's just as simple as that, just soldering it on. 
So I'll do this with the leaves long so we can see what's going on. If it wasn't for that, I'd have it all tight and neat and make a neat pack out of it. But I'll solder these on and uh, we'll see how good the, uh, the protection circuit does. So back now, I'm gonna break one of these boards off. I'm gonna go ahead and put some solder on the pads. I've already tinned these wires with a little bit of solder on the actual leads. I put a 12.5 volt supply to the input with the input and output connection of the board and it just showed a real low trickle charge current but as, but as soon as I had done that and then took the connection loose after it picked up a charge going in now now I get my 12.4 volts out so one thing I wanted to do is see how good this battery management works and how far to let me deplete these cells. So I'll get a load on here and we'll just watch what it does. That is two 10 ohms in parallel. So we got a five ohm, uh, 10 watt resistor there. So it is heating up pretty good. So I got my voltage being checked across. We'll just come back and we'll look at the voltage and see where it cuts out at. So we can see it dropping, but there it went right there. Seven volts that protected that cell and shut it down. So I am, I am pretty happy with the way it protected the cells from going too low. Battery, the actual battery pack overall voltage is 9.23. So at this point, what I wanna do is hook it up to a 12.5 or 12.6 volt um, supply and see how well that it charges. I'm gonna bring the power supply over I got it set for 12.6 volts and at 12.6 volts we'll hook this up. I got the current turned down pretty low on the current control. And I'm going to up this current. I don't care if it charges up to an amp, maybe a little over an amp, but I got the voltage set for 12.6. The current the current control, a constant current, a little over 1.1 uh, amp. And I'm gonna see if the BMS, I let this equalize and charge up. It's gonna take some time, so I'll uh, cut the video off and come back. So we have reached almost 12 and a half volts, and we have come out of a constant current, so now we're in constant voltage. So what actually should charge until this cuts it off. So at this point, I'm actually going to cut the voltage up so it can go above that voltage. And we'll see where it cuts off at. The BMS has reached its um, threshold where it wants to cut off. I got this up to 15 volts and it's reaching the point where it's actually trying to cut this off because the current limit isn't keeping it at one amp anymore. It's got below that so it's allowing the, the voltage to come up as high as I have it set for. So at that point the BMS is actually toggling and actually switching it off so we see the load shifting. So 
it's right there. It won't let it get above 12.8 or so. And it, it'll start toggling that. So I am happy at this point with that, with that limit. Where to cut the charge off at 12.7. That's the over voltage protection kicking in. So that's a way to keep your cells, especially from under and over charging. Um, current, you can kind of control. Short circuit protection is good. You don't want to short them out. It's pretty handy to have for the money. So it's not perfect, but it makes a pretty good little battery pack. If you're looking for something like that, I hope you found this, this little board interesting in this weekly What Is It? And next week on the weekly What Is It? Well, what is it? We'll find out next week. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the videos and like the channel, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.